the what game, is? the games that just happened, or yes. the game that is going the to games happen? That, yeah. So when we go over the games that just happened, it's it's, it's funny. Okay. And it's, and it's and it's not bad. It's hilarious. All right. Okay. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Hey Corona Crew podcast. I am your host, JJ Lang. With me, as always, my two wonderful co hosts. First, you know him, you love him, Nate, the little goon boss. What's up? And also, everyone's favorite, Dan the Statman Scully. I'm supposed to be the one with no energy on this podcast. <laughs> Not anymore. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god also what i said there made absolutely zero sense but that's fine um we had one hell of a weekend holy crap that was so freaking awesome um, let's go we are not gonna waste any time we're jumping right in i don't even care because we're obviously there. we're gonna spend more time talking about everything else so let's go right in nate Jump into Friday. Let's go. Yes, we do have a lot to talk about, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> this is going to be a longer um, one. Friday night. That team from out west that wears purple came to town. Um, and <laughs> coming in to this weekend, I think we were all like a a little hesitant like we didn't know what kind what to expect everybody but me was hesitant right <laughs> shut up jj i um, wasn't and then friday we get the word that the stomach flu is going through the locker room <laughs> <laughs> and it's like oh no <laughs> and then we get the lines and tyler fukakusa is not on them and it's like oh, oh no it's not good um I loved Simon Isabel on that line, by the way. That was, oh my God, what a smart move. And Matthew Wild and Christian Catalano didn't miss a freaking beat. Nope. nope. Not one bit. <laughs> um, Tyler Mahan got us going early on a beautiful play by Crossley Stewart when he cut the middle and just put it on the pad and Mahan driving in the net right there, buried it. And the Policini Center went berserk. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, what a game. What a weekend. Second period rolls around. Um, and Aiden, all he does is score big effing goals, handsome Bucata, on a shot that had no business going in the net. That thing from where he took yeah. it from. I, what a shot. I that didn't know, thing. I didn't think it went in. I couldn't believe <laughs> it. I'm like, no way. <laughs> the buzzer, I, we we watched the buzzer go off, and I'm like, what? That went in? How? Like, there's no way. That, that must have gone through three dudes to get in there. Like, what is that? It was a it, laser, too. It was from it was a snipe. very oh, high God. above the circle. Not quite the blue line, but he was flying. Bro, he, he, he was in the back porch. <laughs> what are you talking about? He, he, was, yeah. he wasn't even in the house. He was in the backyard shooting through the house to score. What are you talking about? I can't <laughs> believe that went in. I mean... It was come to find out apparently goal. apparently Aiden wasn't feeling that good either. And like, dude, you should get sick more often. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna score goals like that. I... Oh my god. Um and then the third, and Niagara came out flying. Yeah, they did. They <laughs> absolutely they, they, they saw the, the, the writing third on the wall was not the first two. <laughs> The okay, third period yeah, was not, not fun in this game. They saw the writing on the wall after this. After those first two, and were like, "Okay, mm -hmm. maybe it's time we put it into another gear here." Um, yes. And then Matthew Wild on a two-on-one with Christian Catalano. Caddy finds Wild back door, buries it. Three was that the two? That was a two-on-one, wasn't it? That was a two-on-one. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. That's not the one I called though. I called the one on Saturday. Um, Matthew Wild yeah. keeps his streak going, even though he broke it in Canisius. Never mind. Um, or yeah, point the first Robert Morris game. Going. Yeah, his point streak's going. Yeah, the point which is amazing. 
Yeah, you know what that was? That was a big F you Atlantic hockey for not putting me on the all rookie team. You know what? Pause. That, yeah, did we didn't we need to go that. over those, by the way. We'll go over that way. Because we because they of course came out the day after we recorded last week. That was infuriating. And, and the fact that it came the out actual a day later. awards are going to come out a day after <laughs> yeah. we record this one. Yeah, Dude, probably. look, I can tell you the awards right now. Carter Wilkie's going to win player of the year, especially now that McClinsky's out of it. I Gone. See ya. Bye. Um, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> um, <laughs> if McClinsky didn't have the year he had, is it a legit possibility that RIT could have had all three player of the year nominations? Yeah. <laughs> with, with Cody? Well, you put Laskowski in there. Yeah, I could have seen that. Anyway. We'll get to that um, later. J.A. Hearn from Niagara breaks the shutout, out, which was, oh, I wanted that one so bad. You know what? I did, but I care more about winning than I care about the shutout. And I yes, think Simon would agree. One, and then JoJo banked it off the wall from his own end. Jo- Can I literally, tell you? This guy doesn't even oh. need to be in the house. Like, J.J., you said Aiden was in the house? <laughs> JoJo wasn't even in the neighborhood. <laughs> JoJo was a, JoJo He was, was just, he wasn't even front. close. <laughs> JoJo was in the neighbor's front yard. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Can I say though? Down the ice. Can I say though? We could not see from the first couple rows who it was had shot that puck. All we knew was that it came from somewhere near the middle, near the net, and we're all like, "Oh my effing god!" Did Tommy just score? And then we watched him put his hands up. We're like, "Holy shit, they <laughs> score!" And then I was like, "No." We're like, "God damn it!" Freaking JoJo is standing in front of him, like directly in front of him when he's shot. We're like. Damn it, man. Let Tommy do that. That would have been so okay. good. Get get the win. That's all that matters. That's very true. Get the win. Um, I can be selfish for that part, though. Tigers close it out four to one final. <sighs> it's their fifth. It was their fifth win in a row. Third straight in the playoffs. Um, at this point in time, since. Uh, Lars Rodney taunted the corner crew. We had outscored Niagara <laughs> eight to one. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. That Lit is my favorite stat of the season, ass, by man. the way. Holy crap. That's the favorite best. stat of the season. <laughs> you know, I, w- I was signaling JoJo's goal from upstairs before it ever went in. And I wondered <laughs> just how crazy Gino Binda thought I was sitting a couple of feet <laughs> down from me. <laughs> Dan's like, he's gonna score, just do it. And they're like, he hasn't even he hasn't even shot the puck yet. Nah, he's gonna score. It's all right. We already know it. Okay, it was after he hit the board. 2020 <laughs> vision, Dan, just clairvoyant. I do have one gripe from this game. Five to one. Yeah, five to one. <laughs> Where the penalties are AT to Niagara. Five to was, one. That wasn't even us. That was just the a crappy officiating. Like, bro. I, th- I thought our penalties were deserved. Some yeah, of them they, were, some of them. Some of them were, but some but of them the were. One, eh, but, but the fact how? that one get called. When I watch a dude choke hold Tyler Mahan the half the distance to the ice and nothing gets called after the whistle's been blown, what are you. Why do we have what? officials? It's not <laughs> why even do we have that. Officials? It's not even that. Like, both teams are doing that. That's It's playoff hockey. It's, the teams hate each other, whatever. Niagara's, yeah, Niagara's right? game but, plan was very much there was stuff that the they they needed to call and they yeah. didn't and if it, it was the weekend before they would have called that guy two minutes for holding yeah like probably. They did with <laughs> well and then what was it friday night that the guy like shoved the ref and the referee just gave him a scolding and sent him to the bench i'm sorry you're getting tossed for that, that, that throw him. what he should come be on for that Carter Wilkie does that. He's in the locker room. You, you don't know it. Lay a hand on an official ever and keep and return to the game. That does not happen. That does not happen. Whatever. I mean, we won the hockey I, game. I will say this. I was very proud of our team. Their yeah. game, their game plan was 100 percent bait them into fights. And not once did any of our dudes fall for that crap. Scully, so was it you and I that were talking after? Was it Friday or Saturday of the game where we're just like, how do you, how is that your strategy? How do you think that's going to like trying to bait RIT into things? That's the only way you're going to win the hockey game. 
because like, because they've been able doing? to bait us into things before. I mean, look at last year, yeah, one of the games power plays, why not? at Dwyer. Mm-hmm. I, granted, their guy got a DQ as well, but Cody Laskowski got a DQ for something after the game ended. Mm-hmm. I'll also say, uh-huh. I thought Niagara, talk, talking Niagara's game plan strategy, their whole personnel matching thing was the stupidest thing I'd ever seen in my life. You waste like 30 seconds of a friggin' play having your dude stand directly behind Jared Fisk, which is probably where they're used to being anyway, and waiting for dudes to cycle in and out to match Wilkie and whoever else is out there, and then go on the rush. Well, that's how you have to do it when you don't have last change. Yeah, but the fact that it happened but, 700 times is ridiculous. Eh, like, dude, eh, really? JJ, they were wasting their own time. That's what I'm saying. What a stupid game plan is for them. It worked for us because they killed their own clock. Um, Yeah. I want to know how much time to four. They doing that. 18 to 4 were the shots in the third period for Niagara. Tommy was an absolute brick. Tommy wall was a that. dog this entire game. That man, um, if you took an, S-ray, an X-ray, his chest, there's a couple of Rottweilers in there right now. Tommy Scarfoni is the reason we won You're this just series. Just reusing the caption from your Instagram post. <laughs> Exposed. Exposed. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Um, Tommy Scarfoni and my brother both have both have that dog in them, so that's all right. <laughs> Um, Tommy's the reason we won this this game. Yeah. He made some big saves in the third period when the team needed him. Because you could tell that the guys were out of gas. They were they were tired. And we were holding on for dear life in this game. No, well when you, you don't know when you have no goes. choice but to ice the puck like five times in a row. Oh my oh, god, was like dear Lord, awful. Please stop. Honestly, I was okay with it. Was like, <laughs> just get the puck out of there. Dude, they were so tired, and I'm sure I'm sure the majority of the guys on the ice were not feeling all that great either. No, no. I guess I'd rather have have it hit us last weekend than this weekend. But dude, the running gag when in the corner was uh, Tyler Pukakusa's new name is Tyler Pukakusa. <laughs> um, that's <was> pretty good. <laughs> don't I, dude, like the don't like the 15 shots Niagara had on the power play. Don't yeah. like that. <laughs> um, that wasn't ideal. Yeah, that's just a recipe for danger. Um, 2,500 in attendance for a break game. That was pretty good. It sounded more, good. like more. So. It looked like three. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that number. It looked like three. Be a little higher. Maybe not quite three, but. um, Or close to three. I'll, I'll say that. It looked like close to three. Good win on Friday. Um. Now you're in the driver's seat. And, and boy, did they just put the pedal down. Holy, did they step on the gas. <laughs> Welcome Come back, in. Tyler Pukakusa. Yeah. Tyler, t- Tyler Pukakusa, <laughs> the freshman connection from Wild and Catalano. Caddy on the two-on-one. They crossed the blue line, and I said goal. Yeah, uh, oh my god. I, I when literally... I saw Fukakusa streaking back door, I'm like, there's no way he's not scoring, right? Like, <laughs> You're like, it's done. See ya. Bang. <laughs> Can I say? Like, keep keep going, keep going. But there was someone else. Um, yeah, love that. A minute 18 into the game, you set the tone and said, No, we're not being denied again. That's what that goal was. You were we are not gonna be denied this year. And then Gonzo with an uh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh cuts cuts from the corner. And I don't know where the Niagara D man was going. <laughs> I he's skating towards the he point. And I'm like, where are you going? You saw the writing on Gonzo the wall. has the puck. Gonzo goes snip city to nothing. Um <laughs> that was what I couldn't believe. I couldn't I what? <laughs> that went in. Like that game, that game was over after Gonzo scored. No, it was over after Wilkie scored. Not just because it was the game winner, but you were not. I even I even when they had that push, I was like, yeah, they're not coming back. Because I, I, you I, woke I, up don't the beast. Tell me you weren't scared in the third period, Scully. I will be honest with you. I was terrified. <laughs> no, you know what? I when they back. there was a moment. Um, 
Sorry, go ahead, Nate. I'll, I'll let you go. I'll, 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 I'll if I'm a bit for a minute because because you're there. jumping ahead here. Slow down. My old Slow old down. My old they old woke old. up the beast. Carter Wilkie finally gets on the board in the postseason. Oh, Love it. Oh, oh, he's got one against Robert Morris. Never mind. Yeah, um, Robert Morris, he got one Saturday. Well, I was thinking I couldn't remember because he's the one that had the one waved off. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. But he did get he did get one on Saturday, that counted. Um, so three nothing after one, we're feeling good, right? We're feeling good. And the second period was a little, eh. I think both ways. I didn't think either team played particularly well in the second period. But yeah. then a guy who has what? Let's go. Well, hang on. Go. I I was just saying it 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 was kind of a sloppy second for both. Yes. Yeah. And then a guy who has worked his butt off all season long has been solid on the back end. Finally gets a goal. Dimitri Microgianakis. All this guy does is score playoff goals. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> All he does is score playoff goals. And I'm fine with that. I, I think Absolutely. I don't him I don't... and LaPointe, if they just want to score playoff goals, that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, that was huge because now we're going into the third period up four nothing. You have all the momentum at that point. And all I the think, momentum. I think all 3,284 fans knew that that game, it was probably over at that point at 4 nothing. Yeah. And I think Niagara knew it too. But I'll give them credit, man. They came out and they, they were fighting. Um, The first goal was kind of fluky. They not yeah. banked it off Carter Wilkie's skate. That sucked. Yeah. But then well, a minute yeah. and a half later... Well, Amy took a penalty. Yeah. After that goal, too. And then they scored on that. So, was, oh, wait, no, because it's not technically possession if it goes off Wilkie's skate. No. Because it was a delayed penalty already, right? Yeah. This is, this is almost exactly the conversation I had with our replay official, Steve Nelson, when we were determining whether or not to award an assist on that play. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Tyler Wallace on the power play and making it 4-2 with about 12 minutes left. And, you know, I, I think there was a little bit of nerves in the building, but I I don't think anybody really believed that Niagara was going to get two more, uh, especially when they pulled their goalie with over four minutes left. Yeah, they – well, and also Friday, yeah. their goal came on an empty net. Yeah. And they pulled Fisk with almost five minutes left in that game. So it was like, yeah, that that's a that's a Jason Lammers move. Um, it's an Eric Lang move too, by the way. A lot of co- and like I get the strategy behind it, especially if you're down two. You need that. like why not? Why not? Right? Like yeah, at, already, at that point, just do whatever you can do to try to score. Lose by two, lose by ten, you still lose, especially in the playoffs. So, um. And then I thought Grady Hobbs was going to get the empty netter, but that oh. Niagara D-man made such a great play <laughs> when he dove for it, got out of his stick, didn't trip Hobbs, they didn't come into penalty, it was a great play. But then Elijah Gonzalez putting the nail in the purple coffin and throwing the dirt that into was, the hole. That was a nasty shot. Right on the empty net from the blue line, just kind of skated over to the corner crew, showed no emotion. Yeah, he just had a smile on his face. No, so. no, you know what he did? He put his hands up and turned around, just like Lars Rodney did. That's what he did. Did he? He did. He put I his didn't hands see up. See that? He put no his way. Hands up and turned around. Shut yes, he up. He put his hands up and turned around. That's exactly what he did. So I, ha- I can also just uh, executive decision the fans' choice award and Elijah Gonzalez. You have just won the Tim Murray Barrels fans' choice award. <laughs> No, I actually, I don't even think we've counted the votes yet. Not going to lie. The box is still in the closet. <laughs> yep, that's soon. Anyway, um, goodbye, Niagara. I've never been so satisfied after a hockey game in oh. my life. 
The app I will that say the building it, got loud when they were the place was rocking. It was going ballistic as the time was click, clicking down. That last minute, minute and a half was fun. Can I say <laughs> there there was a moment in this game what I, I'm I, I know I said earlier I knew it was over when uh we scored goal two. I I'm I won't take I'm taking that back. There was another moment that I thought of just now when I knew this was done. Lars Rodney had a pick where he kind of swiped the puck from someone close to the blue line and took off down the side. And I'm like, I remember this. I'm like, crap. He's going to go to, here we go. Break away. He's going to go score. And they're going to Ryan Nicholson hauled him down and was on him like a rug on the floor, almost the entirety of the way down the ice and then stole the puck from him. Do you remember that happening? Yeah. Love that. Nicholson hauled Um, him. I'm like, we're done. This, This is over. That there is zero chance they're going to get anything done meaningfully to be able to make to be able to stage any sort of comeback here that's going to give them a good enough position to win with enough time left if our defense is going to play like that. Breaking news: Jarrett Fisk just signed with the Utah Grizzlies. Wow, his nickname is Cheese. That makes hockey, sense because you got you know, what kind of cheese. Swiss. <laughs> Damn it, Nate. I was trying to set that joke. Swiss. Go <laughs> for me. Um, so I, I was looking for the picture of from the in the net picture when Jarrett's just head down on oh one my knee. You can see the red light behind, like reflecting I, on him. I'm all. giving I'm giving credit. Who, who, Linda took that, right? I believe huh? so. the photographer's name is Linda, correct? Do, do, do. Evie? No, I'm archive, looking at archive, archive. Do, you do, saved do, it? Do. Great. Oh, I might not know the right photographer story. either, but no, I think it was Evie. It was Evie. Okay, because I, yeah. I know there was two people credited on that post. Because that's because this is an unbelievable picture. That pretty much sums I up love this. Like play for Niagara University. Just, just despairing heartbreak. Um, Niagara, Niagara, Niagara has been to one championship game in their entire time in Atlanta hockey, and they've been to the semifinals I think at least nine times. Choke artists. Sorry, and and, and yet aren't Here's they the aren't they the There's only the team that Shut has up, idiot? Well, well, I'll be an at this large bid in Atlanta hockey history. Yeah. Oh, they were – that team was insanely good. That was different. But you know, that was the year where, like, a lot of the Blue Blood programs didn't get in. It was a weird year, I believe, 2013. Yeah. It was a weird year for college hockey. I just I, – I Yale won it that year. What? <laughs> yeah. That was a fun championship game. It was Yale-Quinnipiac. Is that the one uh, where Yale barely held on after an onslaught from the Bobcats? <laughs> yeah, it was four nothing. I'm what? thinking of a different game than that, obviously. Um, um, yeah, Yale beat uh, Minnesota like ten seconds into overtime in the regional, and then Niagara got smoked by no- by Nodak. Of course they did. I might have been thinking of a different year where the Blue Bloods didn't get in because BC. Minnesota, Nodak, Denver. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different year. But anyway, love that. Remember how the national championship went to overtime last year? And I was like, yeah, this is going to end like 10 seconds in. And oh, it did. The goal was so pretty. Um, Anyway, it's going to end 10 seconds. It's not going to need overtime this year because we're going to take care of business and regular. Nah, I'm not going to that far yet. Don't, don't say things like that, Nate. Can I say this though? Like, people are like, oh, some people, I'm not going to name names, are like, oh, why are we saying one more? It should be five more. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> one, one, trophy at a, one trophy <laughs> at a time here. Come on. <laughs> Focus on the goal ahead of us. Change the, the goal. There, there, is, a, the there is a trophy in front of us before we get to the next one. I'd like to <laughs> take the first one first. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what we hope we do. Um, um this series was not as chippy as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be way worse. So yeah, in me talking too. With in, in talking with 
a mutual friend of all of ours, um, it became readily apparent that Lamer's plan was literally just to try and just stare down everybody and be jerks and just try and bait like that was their that that's all they wanted to do. And I don't I I think honestly, if our guys didn't have the discipline they did, if this is if this game ha- if this game is happening in like the fourth week of the season with their strategy. Christian Catalano is probably getting thrown out in like the second period. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but like five minutes into it, he's not last in the game. He has come a long way, by the way. He has come a very long way. He's been playing very well. Um, he's I'm not kidding when I say, I'm not kidding when I say, oh, look, when he's not in the box, he's pretty good at hockey. He, correct. That's, that's only half a joke. Like he's I, a I, damn good I also good player. love the fact that the day, like literally the day after Fukukusa is scratched for being sick, he comes back and the first goal is Fukukusa from a, the combo of Catalano and Wild. That line is red hot right now. Fukukusa went 12 and 5 in the face off that too. He is a unbelievable dog. game dog. from Tyler Fukukusa. It was funny. He scored the first goal. <laughs> Earlier in the day, somebody was like, Fukukusa flu game, and I'm like, hat trick came out. <laughs> he got the first goal a minute in, and I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> should, have, should have put money on this. <laughs> should have. Um, um, yeah. God. Such a good game. Niagara's going home, boys. So They're speaking done. of that, speaking of that, I would like to take a minute. Everybody, please remove your hats if you're wearing them. We're going to do a very quick moment of silence for the Niagara not-so-purple Eagles. Just kidding, yes, idiots. I also love the fact that we know that they sat at GPC until probably like eleven o'clock at night in literal misery, and then and that's not surprising though. And then, I mean... and then when and then when they left, they were greeted with Jay standing in the yard with uh, his golf clubs. No, he wasn't. Playing. He was at Tully's. No, he went back. <laughs> no, Tully's, we didn't leave Tully's. He didn't leave Tully's until like eleven thirty. He straight up planned to sit there in front of the building yeah. with his golf clubs and wait for them to be like, "Yo, you're all ready." Crazy man, what a what a weekend! More stew donuts. That was even better. That and we and we finally, finally got over the hump. You're there. You're there. Yep. I yeah okay so like we said a couple weeks ago this team all year was we got to get back to where we were and we got to finish the job like okay you finished two thirds of the job and Wilkie's comment after the game has me it just makes you go like holy I'm gonna run through a wall yeah he's like we're not we're not satisfied no they're not even close to being satisfied no These they could guys- win Atlantic hockey and they would probably say we're not satisfied. <laughs> They feel like, okay, cool. Next up, let's go. Yeah, yeah. like they're already gonna turn the page, which they I are, love that mentality. They are they are literally sitting there beating teams and going, Who's next? Step next. up. Let's yep. go. Next man up. Come on, let's go. Also, Adam Who Jeffrey played a hell of a series. Adam, <laughs> Adam Jeffrey had a heck of a weekend. And Evan well, Miller on Evan Friday. Evan Miller did too, really well too at Friday. Had an amazing game on Friday. And Grady Hobbs stepping up to that first yes. line too. Oh, Hobbs, oh he was phenomenal. They needed some grit on that line, I think. Nah, and he, he was phenomenal. Them. He was checking dudes around, too. He was not afraid to just lay anybody out. And I know it's unlikely, but there is a chance we see Cody Laskowski back this weekend. Really? There, Cody says he wants to be back this weekend. I mean, of course he does, but... Um. I- I'm going to put it this way. If we get Laskowski back. Listen, I'm going to put it this way. I love Cody Laskowski. If he's not 100%, I think you have to go with Hobbs. I agree. You I agree. And I, I only say that because, um, and I know it's because he's a senior and he doesn't want his season, to, he doesn't want his RIT career to end. He does have an extra year. Mm-hmm. We'll say that. He um, could come back. We don't know. He could come back, but he definitely doesn't want his career to end on that. And I agree with you, though. I think I think it's one of those games where if we weren't as deep as we were, he would be playing. Hundred percent. Agreed. Because even Cody, even Cody Laskowski at fifty percent is still pretty good. 
he's still better than half the dudes in this conference. Yeah. So <laughs> am I wrong? Like, no. No, I don't think so. It's one of those situations where we have the depth and you almost have to look forward over this game. Like we need you for the next one. No, and I we don't even, want you to be hurt for the next one. I, I'm not even thinking that. I'm thinking from a perspective of we don't want to see you get even more hurt than you already are. Why put him out there and risk him getting re-aggravating the injury or making it worse when you don't have to? Like, Hobbsy right. stepped up and just made his presence known against Niagara. Now, it's Niagara. It's not AIC. However, he was it, this team had a, up. had revenge He's, on their mind. Mm-hmm. W- w- Ryan Nicholson pregame <laughs> Friday was <laughs> overheard in the huddle. This guy saying nobody messes with our corner crew. He didn't say messes. No, he said something a lot worse. He than said it sounds like fire truck. Please. <laughs> he had some sentence enhancers <laughs> in there. Um, I love that. I love that I love, so much. He's the friggin' man. I love that guy. I'm gonna miss him. Carter Wilkie five block shots this weekend. That was huge. Good for him. That's a stat I was not expecting to see. No, nobody was. <laughs> this team was on a mission. And I think Carter specifically because of the way his season ended last year. He, I I know he he probably put a lot of the blame on himself mm-hmm. for that one. I agree. Which, un- absolutely not. There were so many other things that went wrong in that game. But look, you're one win away. 60 minutes away. It's crazy. It's let's been talk eight about, years. Let's talk about the other series now so we can kind of discuss our opponent a little bit. Um, that series, I'm like, oh, first of all, by the way. Dan, you want to roll with this one? Time out. First of all. Y'all suck. I called this series, and you said, there's no way that we sweep them. I said, yeah, sure. We're going to kick them in the face. Yeah, and yeah, JJ, exactly whatever. What happened. <laughs> I do was what do you then. see Nate and I upset about the fact that we swept <laughs> oh, Niagara? I'm, I'm happy you're wrong, and I'm happy that Man, you're Man, I'm so pissed wrong. off we swept <laughs> Niagara and sent them home in two games. God, I really hey, wanted hey. Niagara to win a game. Hey, hey you missed what I said. <laughs> I'm happy that you're wrong, and I'm even more happy that you're happy that you're wrong. So that, that, that's even better. That's fair. <laughs> what about purple teams getting eliminated? Oof. Ooh. Watch the suck. Holy cross. Spoilers. Crusaders did win game one. Uh, it helps. Oh, I thought they were going to sweep this. It helps that they went from being tied 1-1 late in the first period to going to the first center mission with a two-goal lead. <laughs> Fucking Liam McClinsky, two goals. I I hate this guy. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> We're not playing him this week. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's only a junior. You know what? That's fine. We'll deal with him next year. We don't have to worry about it right now. I wonder if Quinnipiac thinks, man, we really let this guy go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, they ask for him back. <laughs> hey, dude, you want to transfer back here? Sure, why not? Bro, if I saw Liam McClinsky's name in the portal, my jaw would hit the floor. Be like, <laughs> Come on here, bro. Let's go. Jump uh, on the uh, <laughs> I hate I, him. I would, I, I would take him all day long. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. I absolutely. <laughs> Ten's available, Liam. He goes, he goes yeah, you're right. <laughs> Tens available next year. Just saying. <laughs> um, that goal with just under ten seconds left in the first period would turn out to be the game winner. Of course, it would. Yeah, Holy yeah, Cross! Shocked five <laughs> AIC two. <laughs> no way, Liam McClinsky scored the game winner. Oh man! When does that ever not happen? <laughs> I forgot that this was a rematch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Until yeah. just now. Because AIC got their <laughs> butts whooped by them last year. And Liam McClinsky owned them. Yeah, he he did in game one for sure. Yeah, they were probably Eric thinking, Lang's really? Gonna... Eric Lang's probably thinking, we're doing this again. He's probably like, God damn it, here we go again. 
not a not a ton of shots on goal in this game. No, they really weren't. <laughs> uh, yeah. Only crosses uh, last two goals. The only ones that they scored outside of the first period were both empty matters. Uh, moving on to Saturday. Holy Cross did not score. <laughs> Three nothing AIC. A goal in each period. Uh, there was a major for cross checking in the second period against Holy Cross. Uh, but AIC didn't do anything with it. They put four shots on net and didn't score. This is I mean we wanted we wanted this to go three. Yeah. Um and we especially almost after we swept, we were like, I want this to go three and I want like a million overtimes. Um quick quick came out. Holy crap, that freaking Clarkson game that went four overtimes on top of oh, the women's all, game. That was nuts. <laughs> yeah. That Holy shit. Insanity. Then not to be outdone, the division three yeah. men's tournament. Oh my Good god, Lord. the Hobart game was the goalie made ninety-eight <laughs> saves. And lost ninety-eight saves and lost. They still lost. That was the best. The guy oh. had the game of his freaking life and his team got out. He was a freshman. Shots on goal were 102 to 47. Oh, God. Oh, almighty. yeah. He got absolutely lit up. <laughs> the fact that he saved and most of them. It was funny. The play by play guys were like, Will we see 100? <laughs> <laughs> and what then shot yeah. nine. And, nine? Well, no, like 100 saves. Oh. Made 98 saves. He couldn't make the 99th. It was a nice play, too. I, I was laying in bed watching it. Zoe's passed out. <laughs> I'm watching it and I'm like, oh my God, what a game. <laughs> anyway, they were only they were only like a minute and a half from the longest division three game ever. Like they were close. They were close. And why does it feel fitting that a guy with the first name Bauer scores the game winner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyways, back to AIC Holy Cross. Sorry for that side tangent. That was just, I had wanted to bring that up because that was nuts. It was a fun weekend. Saves in for Wallstrom yeah, was. in the third period on Saturday. To preserve yeah, he the scares shutout. me a little bit. He yeah. scares me a little bit. He, he scares me less than the other guy that over there that we could have been playing does. Yeah. Oh, good. They changed the box score to accurately <laughs> reflect what the penalties actually were at the end of this game. Uh. Dan, Dan, the way you say things just makes me laugh hysterically. <laughs> I don't even know that. You know what bothers me when they can't input penalties right, okay? <laughs> I know, that's why it's funny. AIC. <laughs> Dan Take... came up to me. <laughs> it was Friday. He's like, the softball box score is awesome. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what? There's no baseball for you to worry about getting screwed up on Wednesday. Oh, so. man. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, did they, did they not they cancel they, the baseball game? Yeah, because it's going to be friggin' snowing. That's why. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, first I am hearing of this is on the podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I saw the text from the Fisher coach, my brother, that said there is no game Wednesday. It's going to be too damn cold. So, Scully, am I picking you up at your place? <laughs> I guess so. All if right. they don't cancel anyway. the lacrosse game, too. <laughs> oh, well, I have tickets to the Amherst game then, so I'll just go to hockey. <laughs> Anyways, it, talking about game three, sorry for derailing us again. Nah, I like the hey, Mez Lacrosse beat Tufts by five. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. What the bleep is a jumbo? I told you something that's gonna get mauled by a tiger. <laughs> Game three, finally, maybe. <laughs> I was really Anything hoping... else with the random tangents. No. So w- while I was up at U of R watching baseball, watching also keeping an eye on that game. I was like, hmm, two to one in the third. 
come on, man, score, go to overtime, and then just have lots and lots of fights. That would be uh, kind of nice. My mom is like, why do you want suspended. all the fights? Like, dude, because people are about to get thrown out. That's why they get chucked and they get suspended for a game, and it just makes a little bit Get some guys Saturday. suspended. That's what we want. And that, unfortunately, did not happen. <laughs> yeah. AIC Sorry. had 17 shots in this game. Holy Cross yeah. had 19 in the second period. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Cross this lost this is. game by two. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't believe that. And the third goal wasn't even an empty neck goal either. No. no. It wasn't. Yes, it was. Um, Was it? Yes, it was. Oh, it's not labeled like that on Damn my phone. Door. This is why you shouldn't use CHN. Look, I had it pulled up. I closed it by accident, and I didn't want to pull it Sounds back like a up. user problem. Yes. <laughs> user um, error. What happened at the end of the game? We uh, got our fight. We just didn't get our disqualification yeah, for AIC. Yeah, yeah, I know. Also, why? I, I forgot I can't search CHC hockey. It gives me the Connecticut hockey conference. <laughs> This is what I get for calling them by their full name, the College of North Dakota. Oh, God. Um, Liam McClinsky scored again. You know what? He's not our problem. This man has 13 Bye-bye. Atlantic Hockey postseason goals. Ten of them are against AIC. Ten. One can say he's... Uh, Ten. One can say he owns them. <laughs> yeah. Fans like Aaron Rodgers with the Bears. He just bangs them all day long. Yeah, but now he's going home. So all you know what, man? I, I'm not 40, gonna lie. I'm kind of sad we're not playing them. Yeah, I don't care. I would have rather played them. Not because not because it's easy. No, no, no. I want freaking revenge against them from last year. I think those our boys would have agreed with that sentiment. It would give them a little extra. I don't fire. think they don't, care you know, as long as they win a trophy. <laughs> no, yeah, you're totally yeah. right. I, I, I just um, think it's a little sweeter if you beat them to do it. Do I know how bad AIC was before Eric Lang got there? Oh, they were pretty crap. They, they? AIC has won a lot of postseason games in recent years, right? Mm-hmm. They are still under 500 all time in Atlantic Hockey postseason. <laughs> Yikes! This is the team that. That won the most boring championship hockey game I have ever watched. Oh, it was so mm-hmm. bad. Oh, the Air Force awful. one? That was so bad. Here's the I thing. was AIC... there in person. I know you AIC were. might have still beaten us that year, but at least we would have given them more of a game. Air Force yeah. was dead. They, yeah. Yeah, they, were, the... they were exhausted because we dominated that third they, period against they them. They literally had to give everything they had to keep us from beating them and then just collapse the next night. Whatever. Like, that, that was part of my uh, postseason PTSD that is no longer a thing because we finally <laughs> got out of the semifinals. So No more Air Force. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, thank you, AFC. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So the Yellow Jackets are coming to town. So let me for the put, first time since February of 22. The raid can, the new raid can finally comes out. Oh, finally. So happy. Um, now I'm gonna go over real quick the debacle, not debacle, the absolute chaos that happened this morning with the ticket release for this game. So <laughs> the tickets. Oh, were, yeah, this was a so the crazy. tickets, the tickets for the Atlantic Hockey Championship game at the Gene Palacini Center. That you can no longer buy because they're gone. When Unless sale, you're a season ticket holder that has them reserved. Let me get to that. Yes. Uh, when no. I sell at 10 a.m. If, if you are a season ticket holder, your tickets are, are held until Friday at a specific time. I think it is noon. Noon. This podcast noon. probably will be out after that deadline anyway. Correct. So if you watch that, you're probably screwed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, me being smart. Got my tickets early, mostly because I'm a season ticket holder, but I had to buy a couple extra tickets for some friends who were coming that were not, so I was able to get them at like 10.45, and I was good. Um, That was in the heat of the absolute anarchy that was me at work today. When I went on my lunch at about 1.30-ish, I sat down, opened Discord, and saw the notification that the tickets were gone. And my collective draw 
jaw hits the Your floor. Draw? Yes. My collective, my jaw hits the floor, went through the floor, and then hit the first floor because I was having lunch in the second. So I was like, what in the mother of God just happened here? This is chaotic. <laughs> the picture that awesome. George, the picture George sent in Discord of the double line, maybe triple line of people at GPC lining up to get free student tickets this morning makes me so incredibly happy. This is why, this is why Atlantic did this. This is why the this, conference. This is why you come to play hockey at RIT. Yes. And the conference. No, no other school in our conference and is doing that. Not a lot of schools across the country that that would happen. I'm not going to lie either. I feel like now this the, the, scheduling wise, this would never have happened. However, could you have imagined if this game was at Blue Cross? You probably sell the building out. Mm. Yeah. See, I was having I was having this conversation with people today. This I is going to be know. the largest crowd RIT has ever played in front of for a championship game. Yeah. Hype. Yeah. The train is. Just- the other five were at Blue Cross. We weren't going to sell the place out. You would have sold most of it. The, out. the reason the reason why homecoming sells out is because the hype is built up for months. You and know the it's opponent also homecoming, so it, it's yeah, it's family the weekend. Event. You get the parents too. How many people are there because it's the event of homecoming? It probably half, and but it's also not point. snowing outside. <laughs> oh, it is currently snowing. Jesus. Yes, it is. Dan, this are, is are we big... really going to go to a lacrosse game tonight? This is why basketball. <laughs> basketball. So. This is why baseball was canceled Wednesday, Dan. Um. Baseball. This is I, Dan Talbot said it in Discord, and I don't think it's a crazy hot take. Is this the most anticipated hockey game since the Frozen Four? Yes. And I'm like, hey, he goes, "This might, this might be a crazy take." And I'm like, I don't think it's that crazy at all. I think he's right. <laughs> From but what I heard, campus game, was yes, but the women did win a national championship in 2012. Dude, can I be honest with you? Can I be honest? There wasn't that much buzz for it. That's it really wasn't. It was, but I mean, the place was still boring. packed. It was still sold out. But the the single fact that this game sold out in two hours says it yeah. right there. Yeah, it's, and that's yeah. that's with a small chunk being left left aside for what we can assume might be the two AIC parents that decided to drive up from the. They, they will be because it's two. a championship game. I bet most of those AIC tickets get claimed, but yeah, with the amount of with the amount of RAT parents that were in the lobby this weekend, oh, after games, in a witch, yeah. time out. It, Shout out to Mr. Isabel. That man is a gem. I love him. Oh, <laughs> he is the best. I love he this man. The so funniest much. guy I've ever met in my life. Um, and he looks yeah, he looks fairly intimidating, and you can talk to him, and he's like, "What's up, man?" He's like the coolest dude yeah. ever. I freaking. We freaking dapped up and hugged after the game Saturday. He is awesome. He's the man. Um, he uh, geez. So tailgate Saturday yes. as well. Um, Dan Scully, I expect you there at some point in between your craziness of this week. <laughs> <laughs> that is Saturday at RIT. Baseball plays Saturday. Softball plays Saturday. Women's lacrosse plays Saturday. Men's hockey plays Saturday. No offense to those other three teams. There's only one sport on campus that matters this weekend. <laughs> Correct. We hope they all do also, well. We hope that they win. Jesus, but... Saturday game at 7. Yeah. <laughs> Nine o'clock. We're all right. All right. <laughs> we are. Um, what did I say? Tailgate. Um, starting at one o'clock in the back corner of you lot. I thought you said two o'clock. One o'clock. All right. I'm gonna be there at ten a.m. I'm well aware of that. Two o'clock so... Atlantic time. <laughs> yeah. Um. For all of those yeah. from New Brunswick. <laughs> Just get there when you get there. It'll be fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's we'll gonna be so much fun. Um, the Isabel family and the Scarfoni family are attending. 
Oh, let <laughs> freaking go. If I get to share um, a beverage with Mr. Scarponi, I think my life will just be all right. I'll be good. That's all I got to do. Just share a can of dry ginger ale. Um, yes, James, I'm bringing them for you. Don't worry. We might have uh, Witter out there as well, broadcasting for the day, for the afternoon. Um, still hammering out those details. There'll be food. Bring something to pass, you know, even if it's just a bag of chips. Every, or, we'll take anything at this or point. Those, like, also, please be considered for those with food allergies. Don't bring anything with nuts. Yeah, don't, like that. Yeah, don't like, be stupid. If you want to go, um, your best bet, if you're going to bring snacks that are like bakery products, if you want to bring cookies, just go to Wegmans because everything there is fine. Just do that. I'm not plugging my own company, but just no free ads. No free ads. No, I'm just saying it more along the lines of food safety wise. It is easier to just go to Wegmans and get a the Rochester based grocery store. <laughs> go to Wegmans, specifically to Tenfield one because it's better. <laughs> JJ, I will expect our check in the mail <laughs> next week for that I'll talk, ad. I'll talk to um, Wendy. I'll see what I can do. This is a no budget production. What are we going to do with the money? <laughs> Buy a gonna, camera. <laughs> are we gonna pay Zoe? You know what we can do it? Yes. <laughs> we're gonna, Don't give her ideas, Dan. What are you doing? We're gonna pay for the audio so we can put it back on Apple and Spotify. Oh, good point. Um this is gonna be a fun freaking day, man. Oh. And it's gonna it's gonna be a long one. And for those of you who have not been a part I of a championship game at one. RIT. It's gonna be a it, this is going to be bonkers slow burn the whole day we're leading up to it this is going to be absolutely insane all right let's talk predictions i think we all um, know real we quick all... real quick real quick real quick all right go ahead um jojo casero defensive player of the week and matthew wild rookie of the week um we did not go over individual awards last week either and aic is very good mm-hmm. yeah this game is not going to be easy. No, it is not. This is going but to be. I heard. I'm not I heard something lie. on a. This is the hardest game we will have all year. Until the next one. <laughs> let's let's get through this one yeah. first. Right, but no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's going to be the hardest game until the next one, and then that's the hardest game, and then the one after that's the hardest game. That's how playoffs work. Correct. Um, we met AIC in Springfield. Um and. Early December, and we took four out of six points. Throw those games out the window. That doesn't mean anything in a one game. Mm-hmm. What matters is AIC is hot. Wallstrom is playing out of his mind. They went to Air Force and swept Air Force, which is not easy at That's all. Tough. Then they went into Holy Cross and beat a damn good Holy Cross team. And now they're coming here in to, into a hostile environment. They're probably going to be jacked up for it. Actually, they're going to be scared because they're going to see 50 people tailgating three hours before the game when their bus rolls out. And then they're oh, gonna, no. Oh. These lunatics are back again. I, I wonder if part of the reason AIC was able to beat Air Force was they had – they had longer than anybody else, and I suppose Air Force had the same benefit, but they had longer than anybody else to look at their opponent's video. That's that true. is true. Dan because, makes a very good point with that. Because they knew who they were playing when the regular season ended, even though they didn't have to play in the first round. Yeah, that's, that's very that funny. is a benefit. Um, and we're gonna Wild. crap on Eric Lang all week, but he's a damn good coach. He has brought this program, oh. dude. The AIC was the worst team in college hockey for a decade. So you know what Nate just said? I was about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> but I was about to say I know that we don't like Eric Lang, but he's a pretty good coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they. Or the door, and they were a guaranteed eight w. points when we played everybody four times. They, they were you started the season four and out in Atlanta hockey, everybody did. Um, they're so bad, so bad, they're not bad anymore. They got a good team, and they're starting to get some guys back too. Which now, here's we'll the see. thing. Now, here's, here's the thing 
I look at right now, yes, they have a hot goalie. He's doing very well. Yes, they have they have offensive pieces. Our offense is churning on another level right now. Mm-hmm. Now, yes, our first series was against Robert Morris. Take it or leave it, whatever. We have outscored opponents 21 to 4 in four playoff games. That is not that is not just something to laugh at and say, whatever. It's RMU, whatever. 21 to 4. Yeah, no, I got it. Tommy has been on straight crack for weeks as a goaltender. He has been out of his mind. And our offense, honest to God, being led by that freshman line at this point. I think it's safe to say those guys are leading the charge offensively. They are on another planet. So, yes, this game will be difficult for us. This is, this is going to be a challenge to, for us to win. But it's also going to be a challenge for AIC to win, too. Since giving up six to Mercyhurst on the road on February 9th, Tommy Scarfoni has given up two, three, two, 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 zero, one, one, two. I'm not saying anything. He is on one right now. Pretty good. He's on a heater right now. The offense came out. Firing against now, Niagara Nils Bulls. Wallstrom has been probably just as good from ever since he gave up four to Niagara two nights in a row. He's given up, assuming he played every game one, two, two, one, one, two, two, zero, one. Now, who do you play against out of curiosity? <laughs> just humor uh, us, Army, Air Force. Holy Cross, uh, yeah, Mercyhurst Army Air Force Holy Cross. None of those teams have the offense we do. That's all I'm gonna I say. Agree. I agree. No, those teams have the offense we do. I think our offensive firepower is going to be what does this. I think this one's going to be first to four. Mm-hmm. Yes. I I think four is the magic number in this game. And honestly, it could even be three. With how good both goalies are. If you're if you're expecting a seven nothing like RMU, you're insane. I would really, really, really appreciate that. Oh, I would like (laughs) it to be up like four nothing by the end of the first. That I'm not the biggest fan of blowouts. Like I like winning. I like winning, but I like good hockey games. Championship games, I want them to be seven nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it makes my anxiety just a little bit more. Us. Well, yeah, correct. Obviously. Yeah, not them. Thank you for clarifying that, Dan. Um, um, I have also already be... watched an AIC win and seven nothing in a championship game. I don't ever want to see that again. No, I and we're definitely not seeing that this weekend. This 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 game will be close. Okay. If this game is a blowout, either way, something went horribly wrong. Yes. Like, Correct. It, that's kind of where I'm at. Correct. Um, let's go through. What do you got? What are you thinking? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, my prediction in the bracket challenge was 4 2 RAT, so I'm going to stick with that. But I'm, I'm going to say 5 3. I'm thinking five two, RIT. I think I think that freshman line is going to just eat. I do. I think they're uh, them along with Tommy is the key to winning this game. Yep. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And Tommy's got nerves of steel right now. He's Tom's not faced, unbelievable. He's faced by nothing at this point. If you, he, you could, if you he has a sports psychologist. I think we need to be recommending him (laughs) across the board to all of our athletes. (laughs) Correct. Um, Shall we go over some of the awards that were? Let's talk about, well, the nominations that I guess that are out. And we can do the the first, second, third, and all rookie teams as well. Correct. Um, I can do it, Dan. You can do it if you have it up. Oh, care. also, oh, really quick before we move on. Uh, okay, I got it. RIT was 18 in the USCHL poll today. 
who cares? I could give a crap at this point. Yep. Great. Well, Literally we'll doesn't matter back. anymore. Like, hey, that's cool. Um, doesn't matter. First team all Atlantic hockey was very orange. Um, yeah. <laughs> Liam McClinsky, uh, deserving. He led mm-hmm. the conference in scoring. Uh, very deserving of the award of that. And honestly, I, I know I said Carter Wilkie's going to win player of the year, but I would not be surprised if it's McClinsky at all. I wouldn't either. Um, we'll go with that in a minute. Um, McClinsky, Carter Wilkie, Will Gavin, Cody Laskowski, the four forwards, which I guess they couldn't decide, so they just said we're going to do four. Um, <laughs> John Franco Casero and Brian Kramer, who plays for AIC and is a damn good defenseman. He's going to be key for them in this game on Saturday. And then in that, nobody's surprised. I don't even need to say the name, but it's time to start phony. It's time to move on. Um, duh. Yeah. Um, second Another team, all AJ, Matteo Giampa, probably going to win rookie of the year, even though we'll see in a minute what I have to say about this. Yeah, me too. Jack Ricketts, uh, pretty good for Holy Cross. Joey Baez, we knew he was good for Army. Um. Chris Hayden from Air Force and one Aiden Hanson Bucata on defense robbed of we could have swept the entire first team at, with our starting lineup. And Literally. We could have. <laughs> and Jason Grandy, second team. Elijah Gonzalez got third team. Third team is just kind of eh. Um, all rookie team. Garbage. Do you see any orange on this graphic? I hated that so much. <laughs> one. One of them. And I'm okay. How was one Matthew Wild? It could have been it. Wild or Fukukusa. I don't care. Could have been one. How was Matthew Wild How? on there? How? I don't understand. Not watch- Gene and John said something funny on the broadcast as I was rewatching it. They just didn't want RAT to win all the awards. Oh, that was the best. I caught that. That was funny. That was good. Um, Gene don't John get me wrong. Gems every don't, now and then. Do not get me wrong. The guys that are on the all rookie team deserve to be on the all rookie team. They've all had phenomenal years. But Matthew Wild, like he's the one I don't guy get. has 17 goals this year as a freshman. I, he was our second it. leading goal scorer as a freshman. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Ridiculous. Maybe because he maybe because he got he got hot later in the year and it wasn't fantastic the whole season. But like, probably. But even then, like, really? Come on. Finalists for some individual awards: Coach of the Year, Frank Saratori from Air Force, Bill Rieger from Holy Cross, Wayne Wilson from RIT. Uh, Bentley's coach got totally robbed there. I'm gonna. Say Andy that Jones right got robbed. He should have been nominated above. Put Saratori. that out there. And maybe not so. Eh. Over, can I be honest? Over Wayne. No, 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 dude. Wayne didn't have to do shit. <laughs> sure. He said go. <laughs> he I told mean, Carter Wilkie and said go. <laughs> Dan, stop writing down the timestamps. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> That's fine. Um, He's texting us anyway. <laughs> yes. Like, Wayne. Uh, he, yes, Wayne Wilson is a phenomenal hockey coach. It is really easy to coach a team like us with the that, amount of that talent that we have. Everything you could ever want as a coach. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Do I think he'll win it again this year? Maybe. If we win, yeah, probably. But um, but individual don't the awards sportsmanship... get announced tomorrow before probably. the championship game. Probably. So it's probably Wayne. Um. Wouldn't be surprised if it's Frank, though. I wouldn't. I mean, they they, they did come back from an absolute... I wouldn't be shocked. Year. I wouldn't argue with it if it was territory. No. Um, individual Sportsmanship Award, Christian Catalano. Ha, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, and nobody from RIT is on that list. Yeah, anymore. nobody from RIT is on that list. So because unless you, really you know, we're a healthy scratch. I wonder you know, why. why. Rookie of the Year finalist, Nils Wallstrom from AIC, Matt Gadowski from Army West Point, son of Guy Gadowski, Penn State head coach, by the way. And Matteo Giampa from Canisius. Giampa's probably going to win it. Yeah. 
Wild also screwed out of that as well. Yeah, I don't know how he wasn't nominated for that either. That was gross. Best defensive forward. No RAT guy on this list either, although you probably can make an argument for a few. Um, Austin Schwartz from Air Force, Ethan Lay from Bentley, and Tyler Giradosi. That I know how to pronounce that name. I've heard it before from Holy Cross. Um oh, was it, of the year. Wasn't what? Ethan Lay that idiot that hit us with that and then screwed his team over afterwards? Wasn't that wasn't that yes. him? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Own goal. Um, yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> Kelly, you looked like you had something to say. Uh, not related to this, no. Oh, okay. But apparently, you can get a bench major in college hockey. Oh, that's fun. We'll have to go over Excuse that you. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that when we're done here. <laughs> um, goaltender of the year Tommy Scarfoni next yeah um, there's no way he doesn't best defenseman that, award John Franco Casero next. next actually Brian eh, Brian Kramer probably mm. probably well. probably yeah. I mean Jojo Jojo does lead the country in goals by a defenseman he broke his own damn record how do you not give it to him again and then player of the year Liam McClinsky from Holy Cross deserving he, he could win it he could win it Tommy Scarfoni, a goaltender out for player of the year, is that's all you ins- need to know. That's insane. And then wash, rinse, repeat, Carter Wilkie. Shocker. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave it to Tommy. I wouldn't either. He was up for the Richter at one point. He was a, he was a Richter finalist. Is he, do we know if he's a top three finalist? He was top yeah, they announced that yet? I think I that's think the week between regionals and the Frozen Four, Ed said. Could you imagine? I think. Oh that they announced God. the finalists. I know they do the awards on they Friday did the, of Frozen Four weekend. They did the top ten. Yeah, I know they did the top ten, but we were they did the top ten like a month ago. Um, I don't think they've updated it since then. Yeah, the three finalists will be announced in early March, so they should have been by now, but they haven't been. Which means they're because James would have let us know. Ah, uh, yeah, James would have said something about now. He probably would have been on one of. Um, James, we love you. You're awesome. This is RET's sixth Atlantic Hockey Championship game. Yeah, it's his fourth. They're three and zero in championship games. RET is three and two. Let's say we change that this weekend, gentlemen. Jack Riley Trophy will be in the building Saturday. It'll look pretty good in orange. That's all I'm saying. Look, Saturday is going to be an unbelievable night. <sighs> Win or lose. Win or lose. Listen, either way, all three of us be crying. So, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Um, Eight years, man. I was a June, I was a junior in high school. <laughs> the last time they were in a championship game. I was. You know what uh, stat I didn't like? What? The only other time the one seed and the five seed faced in the championship. If you say five something seed stupid, I'm gonna one. You. over Robert Morris. Nate's right. Okay, the last mind. time we won. Hell of a game. Too. Sorry, John <laughs> Hanna. Hey, John Hanna will be there this weekend rooting for us. So that 2016 game was nuts. Um. Yeah. It is going to be an unbelievable game. I think the atmosphere is like we've been dreaming. When they announced that uh, Top Seed was going to host at the start of last season, just been dreaming about a championship game at the Polisini Center. And yeah. can I tell you, pre-game, before the game, this place is going to be electric. A zoo? Yes. I'm hoping the corner's full by warm-ups. It probably will be. It could be. 
<laughs> it probably will be. Oh my god. They're gonna be so awesome. I missed the smoke machine though, I'm not gonna lie. The fog machine. Yeah, I gotta figure out what happened to that. Uh it kept setting off the fire alarms. <laughs> Was it really? Yeah, Jacob said it they had to angle it from up to sideways. And then the steam would like drift up into the ice and go upwards, and it would set the laser grid off. So they had, they had to get rid of it. Oh, I know it sucks. Just turn the laser grid off <laughs> <laughs> for a few minutes. Four days, twenty three hours, sixteen minutes. Now listen, I have the same feeling for this game as it did going into last weekend. The spidey senses are tingling. Danger is here. I am not scared. Danger, Will first. Robinson. Uh, oh, God. Score first. Dan, nice. Yes, score first. Which, honestly, I after we did Niagara, I think that's possible. Niagara, that series came down to, does Derek Fisk show up? And that was, no. He was, actually, not even that. He did pretty good game one, considering he faced, like, what, 50 shots, almost. No, they outshot us. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah. They, he faced like oh, thirty. Yeah. He faced at least thirty, which is still a lot. So, like I said, I think it's the first of four. It's it's gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a very stressful game. <laughs> I will not feel comfortable until the clock is zero in the third period. Yep, this is gonna be bonkers. The whole day. I love it. The tailgate how, is going to be amazing. How are, we, how are we supposed to sleep Friday night? We all oh, see. I, I go. I'm working till midnight, so I'll just stay up all night. I'll be fine. I'll be all right. Be nuts, man. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Sold out so policy any center for a championship game. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was scaring people on Saturday. <laughs> Nate, Nate, now you were you and I were both freaking people out Saturday down there. We're, oh, we're really. The, we had the evil like Joker laughs going. And everybody's like, "All right, this is enough." Oh laugh. yeah, when, <laughs> when the empty neck goal went, we just started laughing. Nate looked at me, and we just went. <laughs> we started <laughs> evil laughing in unison. People were like, "All right, this is not all right." The hive mind is mm-hmm. back. Now I know how people felt about Steve James and I when uh, when we put up ten in the first quarter on Tufts in the national semifinal a couple oh. years ago. Also, also, I'm gonna. That was right also now. satisfying. Whatever you have been doing, if you're coming to games, if you like eat a bowl of ice cream before you leave the house, keep doing it. Do it. I am literally wearing the same sweatshirt I have worn the last two weeks. It has not been washed yet, and I am perfectly fine admitting that because it's totally correct. You do laundry during no, playoffs? Nothing has changed. Ex- Come on, the, am- you know, amateur. You know, the only thing that has not changed is this hat. And that hoodie. That's it. We will be burning sage in the parking lot like we did on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> no, we're not. That's right. You're hypothetically burning sage in the parking lot on a YouTube video. I I roll I get to the <laughs> I get to the game Saturday. I just get attacked with sage. <laughs> I don't know. This that is gonna be, be awesome, man. Like, it, what is happening with this? <laughs> Come on out to the tailgate, one o'clock, you lot, back corner of you lot. Um, mm-hmm. It is going to be. Also, if you want to park in you lot, you better get day. there by like three latest because that parking lot is going to fill up quickly. I'll be there at like 11 a.m. Can we talk about how sold out hockey game in Toricon? Can you find something more RIT than that? The. The anime like, convention plus that yes. that's gonna be nuts. Like I, I might not be able I don't to find a can... spot in you lot at eleven a.m. You might not yeah. even find a spot in you lot anywhere. Um Rip a slot for the win. Um righty. This is where we sign the up. Next everybody. Time, the next time we talk to you. We will either be really friggin' happy or really friggin' sad. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you don't even watch the game, if the podcast comes out like Monday, we won. If it doesn't come out for like three <laughs> weeks, we lost. <laughs> so, because <laughs> that's what happened last year. We literally just sat on it and just didn't want to talk about it yeah. for weeks. I was like, I was too sad to talk about it. Um, Didn't didn't Dan text us be like, all right, we're, we're like, all right, sorry. 
when are we recording <laughs> we're like never <laughs> i don't want to um this is where just, the show ends just as a side note to um if we do win the selection show is on ESPNU on Sunday at 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. That's when we'll know who we're playing, where we're playing. And honestly, if we win Saturday, anytime, anywhere, Any place. anybody. Because this team is rolling. We and this team is going to scare right some teams. If if if, if RAT, everybody else in the country should be cheering for AIC this weekend. Because oh, you yeah. you do not want to play RAT. No. The small little Atlantic hockey school from Western New York could be a giant killer. Done it before. Mm-hmm. Done it before. Got to right win man, Saturday, though. Right, Mankato? <laughs> yeah, go ask Denver, New Hampshire, and Mankato <laughs> about it. All right. All right. I'm going to do the sign-off now because I'm getting too excited. All right. Yeah, me too. With everything said here, we're wrapping it up now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already. We're getting close to 100 subscribers, too, I think, right? I don't like know. 85? Oh, geez. Well, we're only at 85 in two years. So we'll... F- that's right we'll do some house cleaning maybe that'll help us out a little bit um hit the notification bell so you're notified when all new episodes go live also social media links, okay social media links are in the description as always instagram is just crossed 2100 by the way um ryan west that video you made basically summing up niagara's failure of a senior season was the single greatest thing you've ever made ever thank you for that that was actually hysterical. I stayed up until almost two in the morning when I had to work at five to see that because it was really funny. Um, special thank you to Zoe as always for editing because I'm sick of her yelling at me whenever I don't thank say you. it. Uh, this is not my fault. I just always forget. Um, <laughs> so it's your fault. And he just whacked his camera. I just ripped my earbuds out of my head. Um, this cord link is also in the description. If See, this is the time I'm going to say this. If somehow you unfortunately did not get playoff tickets for the championship game, I am assuming someone is going to stream it, hopefully, so that people can watch. We don't know. We don't pirate things in Discord, JJ. What are you talking you know, about? You know what? It, it's the worst kept secret in college hockey right now that we legally stream things in Discord. It's fine. There were so many people in there on Saturday. <laughs> there was like a couple hundred. What are you talking about? So and many. that was with the corner filled to capacity and people leaking into the freaking stairwell. So that just shows you how big it's gotten. Hockey um, school, baby. Yes, we are. Hockey school. Um, with all that being said, thank you all for watching. We will see you hopefully Saturday for the playoff game. Sorry, championship game. Let me correct myself there. Yeah. And for the tailgate at one. Have a great week. Not, not just a hockey game, JJ. Go Tigers. Roll tack. That's it. Scully's just saying.